what's up all my ljc family and welcome back to my channel welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome back hey 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 welcome back y'all today is november i'm all lost <laughs> I, I, baby, I'm all ahead of time. I'm not ready for November. Today is October the uh, 12th. October the 12th. October the 12th. October the 12th. Let's get that correct, Donna. Because <laughs> I said November. Baby, I don't know where I was going. I know I'm tired. But anyway, y'all, I came over here real quick uh, <clears throat> to Taco Cabana. Taco Cabana? Yeah. And... I just came and got me just, I said, I'm not spending no more money on food out. I'm not. I, I absolutely am not. But uh, when you have people that I work for, they treat you. And it's and it's very, very awesome that they treat you. But they treat you with gift cards, okay, okay, okay. And they know I, I told them I love Taco Cabana. So I had a gift card. And I didn't know what to come get, but here's the box. And I got a Frito pie quesadilla. A Frito pie quesadilla. I don't know if y'all can see it. Uh, they say it's new on their menu. I love cheese, y'all. I love, I love they cheese anyway. But I got two of these. And y'all already know I'm finna drench drenching in here but i just wanted to try this with y'all because y'all know your girl she loved trying some things i, I can't i'm gonna have to say that because uh i tell y'all this cheese i love this cheese but anyway um i love the people that i work for they are so good to me they listen you tell them something like I, they asked me one time what what do you like to eat pizza is my favorite food if you don't know me pizza i can eat pizza 24 hours a day if i could i know i can't eat that many times but if i could and they i tell them i also like taco cabana they live right here by it and um this is like the second time they got me a Taco Cabana card. Um, one of them little gift cards. They, they always get me stuff, y'all. I just love them to death. But I'm going to try this quesadilla. It's supposed to be a Frito pie quesadilla. I don't know if y'all can see it. Y'all see that? Oh, yeah. That's what it is. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I'm telling y'all. Go. That's good, y'all. Go get. Man. You can taste the jalapenos. You can taste the, um, the chili. Man, that's good, y'all. Mmm. It's hot. Oh, man. Y'all need to go and grab y'all one of these from Taco Cabana. I'm telling y'all. Taco Cabana, y'all need to, uh, y'all, hey, y'all need to go on and pay me. No, I'm just playing. This is good. Mmm. 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 I don't know a lot of y'all. Uh, help them. Look at that. This is the case of beer, y'all. This is new. Mm, mm, mm. Man. I can run in there and slap one of them. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. 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 People that know me probably be like, when she start eating spicy foods, y'all? I don't know, but 
This is it. This right here. This is it, y'all. Mmm. This is it. Mmm. Drop that boy down with a good old cherry coat. Y'all need to go get that. I'm finna go home and work this off extra hard because I've been losing too much weight. And I'm not finna let it pile back on me now. Look at that, y'all. Ooh, look at that. Mm-hmm. 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 What's chili? Chili falling on. Mm-hmm. Man. This is good. First, I kept saying, no, I ain't gonna get that. But I know I have to get some. I have to spend that card. Man, I'm glad I got this. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Yeah, this is good. But I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Because I'm not going to end it. I'm going to pause it for tonight, y'all. Because we're going to bake tonight. We're going to bake my LJC family. We're going to bake some Halloween cupcakes. I'm going to show y'all. Mmm, 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 mmm. Y'all gonna lie, y'all. This is good. I'm gonna show y'all how I make my Halloween cupcakes. I'll be doing that as soon as I get home. I have to make one stop to my mother's house. And then, home I go. Goodness, one more day. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. I'm telling y'all. I can go in there and slap every last one of them cooks. Or whoever made this Frito Podcast deal up. I can just go find them. Woo, and get them a hug. And I'm a picky eater. But that is good. That is good. That is good, y'all. Ooh, that's good. Okay, y'all. I'm going to end because, like I said, we're going to go home. And we're going to make some cupcakes, some cupcakes, some cupcakes. And then, y'all... Your girl gonna get in there and work it out. I be working out in my room. I be boy, I be working out. I'm telling y'all, I'm gonna do a workout video with y'all one day. But right now, I'm gonna end for now, and I'll be back later. Here I am preparing ground meat so we can have tacos tonight. This is the seasoning, and I already did everything and put all the seasonings on it, and just pour a little water in it to kind of loosen it up a little bit, and this is what I do. I just try to, you know, stir it all up in there, get it all worked in, and get it all toward around. And yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no. Them tacos gonna be on point tonight, but you know, we had a little, just had a taste of tacos, even though I just had the quesadilla earlier. You know, I still have my family to cook for so we cooked um I cooked tacos uh and I had a uh, um tostadas and tacos soft tacos so here I'm just cooking it up cooking it up cooking it up cooking it up <laughs> now just ran just getting the ground meat going and put this little fajita seasoning in it it was really good and then the rotel 
kind of like Rotel, but it's just tomatoes and little mild peppers. But it made the meat taste really, really good. Came out really good. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. It tastes better than the Rotel. I'm going to have to start buying that. Then I put the little Velveeta cheese off in there. and It came out really good. It was really tasty. Um, I got the fajita seasoning because they didn't have the taco seasoning. I would prefer the taco seasoning because that's what we was eating. Tacos, but of course they did not have it, so... I just wanted to try something different because I'm always trying something different. It don't matter what it is. I want to try it and make it my way. And that's exactly what I did. And I tell you, it turned out pretty good. Here are the tostadas. That's what I wanted. I didn't put too much cheese in everything because I had it earlier on my um, quesadilla. I had all that cheese and all that stuff. So I just had me a little tostada with peppers and sour cream my cheese was mixed up in there i had put it in the microwave and mixed it together and this is what it is i didn't do the soft taco i just wanted me a quesadilla i didn't eat both of them i knew i wasn't so it was good too those peppers were not hot they were really really tasty and hey that was my dinner for tonight and it sure was good. It was delicious. I loved it and I enjoyed it. And here, we're going to bake some cupcakes. Let's get to it. Here's the cake mix that I use. Um, it's that Duncan Hines. You can get any kind of yellow cake mix you want. It doesn't matter. Um, me, I, I like Duncan Hines, but, you know, sometimes I just get what I what I can get if they don't have it I get any yellow because it's not you know what the brand is it's how you make it so I just pour it in a bowl and then I get all my eggs get them together because I have them sitting out and then of course I crack my eggs And I put all three of my eggs off inside of my cake batter so that I can go ahead and get that um, off in there. Um, you know, you want to make sure you don't have no shells or nothing off in your cake batter. You don't want to bite into no <laughs> egg shells. You, you just, you know, take your time. No rush. It, it, it ain't no rush for nothing. Just take your time and, you know, substitute. What I substitute the water with almond milk. Always, always. I don't care what I'm baking. If it's cornbread, if it's brownies, whatever it is, I always substitute it with almond milk. I'm not... Uh, I'm very lactose, so I don't do regular milk, but that almond milk, oh man, I love almond milk. I love it. Then I go in there, a half a cup of vegetable oil, and um, sometimes I pour a little bit more than half a cup, but you know, you just really want your stuff to be, you know, really moist. You don't want no hard cupcakes. and. I just get my little whiz and you know once you get all the ingredients in and you got everything where you know where it needs to be you just stir it up real good you know you want to make sure that everything is stirred in me I always use this that's my favorite whiz right there because it gets every they mixed up. I got a blender, but I don't never use a blender. I always only use that. That goes actually goes to my blender. And then this is a new Snicker. Um, it's like a uh, it's like a topping, and I put that off in there. And you know, you don't have to put a whole lot. But me, I'm a little dramatic. I'm a little bit 
much. I do a little too much, so <laughs> I'm always trying something different. So I went ahead and put a little bit more, but you don't have to. You don't have to put that much in there. You can just put a little bit. But it really, really gives the cake a, a different flavor, and um, it's really good to pour on top of ice cream, whipped cream, whatever it is, you know, and it was still a little thick, so I just poured just a little bit of almond milk, just a little bit, poquito, y'all, poquito, poquito, and, you know, you just kind of stir it up, you know, get it the way you want it, and, of course, me, I got some other stuff going on, but, you know, I got to do one thing at a time, so I came back to my my uh, cupcakes, and, you know, you just stir it up real good. You don't want no batter or nothing at the end, and here I got my little cupcake uh, holders, and I was so mad because I thought I had um, a cupcake holder at home, but apparently I didn't. And I had to lay my cupcake on a flat sheet. And I was so mad because my cupcakes didn't turn out the way I wanted them to turn out. Because the paper started opening up. But, you know, we still had cupcakes, you know. I just got to start paying attention and getting the stuff that I need. Because I wanted to really make cupcakes but I'm gonna remake everything and show y'all but my cupcakes turned out good I don't care what nobody say I was just you know trying to make sure the cups wasn't gonna overflow here I'm making my icing I put it in the microwave to get it a little soft and then I just get a bowl just I just have a little small uh, thing of icing and I just Pour it in the um in a bowl, and then I have my food coloring, which my dumb self go to the store thinking I was getting orange food coloring, and I picked up the container because I thought it was orange, but as you can see and as I can see, it is yellow. But I was so disappointed because I'm thinking that my cupcakes is going to be orange. You know, I'm supposed to be making Halloween cupcakes. But, of course, it turned out yellow. But if you, you can't really see it on the camera. But when I first picked it up, it was orange. It was orange. The top was yellow. I didn't look at the paper. It did say yellow. But look, the mix is orange, but the top was yellow, and the package did say yellow, so that was my dumb self, just rushing, not paying attention, and of course, my uh, icing was yellow, and this is the end result, y'all, of my uh, cupcakes. This is how it turned out, and I tell you, they were delicious. But thank you all my LJC family. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend to come on over to the LJC family. I got some content for you. 